We're joined live by reporter Jared Wakeley at Whittenoval. Jared, why, knowing Kerry was going to make his big announcement today, why did he choose today to quit? Well, Terry Wallace didn't think it would be fair, Mel, to go into Saturday's match against Collingwood knowing that he was going to quit the club and not telling his players. Wallace said he's not so much tired of coaching as tired of coaching the Western Bulldogs. After 15 years at Witten Oval as a player and coach, he has lost the desire to plough on. Instead, stating his preference to coach another AFL club next season. My understanding is what has brought today's shock developments on is a firm offer from Sydney to Wallace's management company offering him the Swans job next season. It's an offer Wallace will now consider being on the free market. More shocked than anyone were the Bulldogs players summoned to a two o'clock meeting this afternoon. Brad McEwen was here when they arrived. Some senior players arrived knowing what had unfolded earlier in the day. The rest were about to find out. I've questioned myself for long, probably the last month, about, you know, do I make the move now? Do I try to hang in for another 12 months, see where uh, where things go from there? And uh, as I sort of said, I just, you know, walking back in the door and walking into the environment of the place, I uh, just, you can just tell sometimes when it's uh, when it's time to move on. We can't handcuff him to Witten Oval. I don't think any organisation can afford to have people that don't want to be there. As wife Kerry gathered her husband's bag, Terry Wallace announced he was departing Witten Oval less than two years into a four-year contract. Wallace expects to be coaching a rival AFL club next season. Well, I can only go on what my management have, uh, have informed me and my management have informed me that there will be alternatives. My gut feeling was it was time to move and if there was other alternatives out there, well, it was time to take up a new challenge. After seven years at the helm, Wallace will coach the Bulldogs for the last time against Collingwood on Saturday. You're committed for the long haul, and, and yeah. I suppose up until today you thought that Terry was as well. Yeah, no, look, it's, um, I suppose in some ways it's, it's disappointing only for the fact that, you know, we just thought that that was going to be the case. And Brad McEwen, 10 News. In today's other major footy story, Wayne Carey will resurrect his career with the Adelaide Crows. After 167 days in the AFL wilderness, the former kangaroo captain says his wife Sally supports his move interstate.